Hi, I'm Morten Nielsen from the WASP team, and in this demonstration I'm going to uh, to talk about how you can organize the turbines into different groups and then uh, how that can affect your calculations. So uh, you notice that you have turbine sites here and then they are organized in a group like this and if I right click on this group then I have a pop-up menu where for instance I can uh, split the group into two. And it's done like this. I mark the site which I want to move and then click here and then uh, I can, if I say OK, then it'll be uh, these sites will be in a subgroup. I can also decide to have uh, two subgroups like this, uh, and then uh, I can uh, I can drag turbines between the groups, and uh, I can uh, I can also, if I don't want to see this, then I can deactivate it so it's no longer active. So then you no longer see the sites and I can reactivate it and I should say that uh, if I click on the group then uh, these colors are slightly different so then I can see uh, which sites belongs to which group uh, if you have a very complicated project then it would be could be useful and then I could also say I could go in here and I could uh, merge this into the parent group and uh, maybe the same for this project here and um, then I'm back to where I started and um, yes I could also save uh, this as a site list to a file so if I have uh, organized it in a special way then I can uh, import that back into WASP and WASP engineering so um, uh, then there's the question what if you have um, a different and more complicated project. Uh, so, no, no, I think I'll uh, go here and then reload something which I have. We have this um, test project in the samples. So, um, here you can see that uh, there can be special uh, objects like this mast. It's a turbulence reference mast and it's uh, um, if you click here and select uh, the last uh, in the list then you can see that this mast is uh, only doing its correction for for these turbines here so that's one purpose and uh, there can also be uh, for instance I could have uh, here I could have a, a special uh, um, I could have a special uh, t turbine assigned uh, just for 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 this group I could uh, Maybe if we go to the other case, I could take uh, this uh, turbine here, and uh, then this uh, these sites would be modeled with this turbine, and the the other ones would be modeled with this turbine. It's like uh, it's uh, always looking for for local information first, and if there's no local turbine in this group here, then it would look up in uh, its uh, parent group. Um, and, and but. Then there's a question here that the height here of this turbine it doesn't match this here, so maybe that's not a good idea to to use this one. So I, I think I'll uh, go here and uh, I press delete, and then it's uh, it's uh, it's no longer here, and every side is using this uh, Gamesa turbine. But if you want to do a mixed project, then I can show we go to WASP engineering here. Uh, and uh, I click here and then uh, right click and then I can insert some locations I have for for some other wind farm and I want to add it as a group and then you see this is these are these three new sites uh, here and then I want to um, to use uh, the height which is uh, applicable for for the hop height for for these turbines here so I select this group this height and the generous wind climate and then I can go into tools and prepare data for watch uh, this would take a little while so I have already done it so we can go back to to the wasp engineering project 
and uh, then if we want to mix information from the two uh, calculations then I go to edit and say add more WASP engineering and WASP results and then I find here these are my results for, for this other wind farms the three new sites and then uh, yes I want to have this turbine here uh, and then it's asking do we want to create a new project or do we want to merge the information with uh, what you have already I want to merge so I say yes and uh, then it's doing some calculations here it will be slower and slower the more turbines you have in the project of course uh, and then uh, you can can see here for instance uh, this uh, uh, production here that's uh, now uh, you have um, have it for for the two groups separately and then if you deselect here then you can see it uh, just for for one group so that could be practical for instance if you um, if you're working with a project which uh, have a phase one and a phase two so then you can see the weight loss uh, before and after you you have the, the next phase installed so um, then I can also say you have uh, for instance these uh, uh, there's something uncertainty then you could have for instance some special uncertainty for for some group so you can click here and say uh, this group here uh, copy global and then uh, change some of these numbers or deactivate them so they will be uh, a little bit uh, different so uh, I hope I have given you, you an idea of how you can can reorganize this project and then how that affects your calculations.